I'm Alexis Lake from Corning, and this is Inspired by Glass. A few years ago, Corning shared a vision for a world powered by specialty glass through our A Day Made of Glass video series, and we were amazed by the reaction. Leading brands, educational institutions, and designers from across the globe were excited and ready to collaborate with Corning to make this world a reality. Today, this futuristic world is coming together at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. Here, Corning is hosting a symposium attended by innovative thought leaders and designers to discuss progress on the vision portrayed in the A Day Made of Glass videos. In fact, some of the latest technologies inspired by the videos are here on display. So let's go inside and check them out. I'm here with Healy Cypher in the eBay Connected Fitting Room. Healy, tell me, what is the Connected Fitting Room? So you'll notice this fitting room just looks like what? Pretty normal right. fitting room. When you bring things in, recognize the items, and becomes this interactive surface where you can now ask for the sizes, cuts, and colors, bring it to my room, do things like change the lighting onto this, boop, and even this ask for amazing. help from stylists. So the way this works, is right here, you see this little barcode? Mm -hmm. This is actually an RFID tag. And the top here, part of this lighting mechanism is an RFID antenna which reads these items, tells the mirror what it is, and turns this corning glass mirror into this beautiful touchscreen. I'm with Hanu from Multitaction. This looks amazing. Tell me, what is Multitaction display? It's an uh, interactive display that works with computer vision. So I can recognize myself, with my personal ID card. I can draw on the display with a pen and uh, use an eraser to erase the drawing. Why is glass good for this sort of application? So glass is everything to do with uh, image quality. So behind is an LCD, but the glass is what transmits the, the light from the LCD. But it also provides the, the feel for the fingers. Jeff Evenson, Senior Vice President of Corning, Jeff, tell me, what are we looking at? How does it work? So part of the day made of glass vision is that we have everyday surfaces with extraordinary capabilities. And what we did to demonstrate that is build this prototype of an interactive cube. So we used Gorilla Glass. We embedded projective capacitive touch as well as a film that allows holographic pixel formation. And what it gives you is interactivity, and an image that lets you see in real time what's happening in a system or in a hotel and helps people find their way or how they're going to control a power plant. For this type of display, you need something that's incredibly durable, that's relatively thin and lightweight so you can get it in the spot that you want conveniently. Gorilla Glass uniquely offers both of those capabilities. We're here talking to Rafal from Glow Headphones. So Rafal, tell me, what's going on here? How does this technology work? This is Glow Headphones. It's the first smart headphones that use lasers to light up to your music. And this looks like Fibrance light diffusing fiber from Corning. Is that right? It is Fibrance. And Fibrance is a great material because not only is it very flexible, you can see, uh, it's also very vibrant. There's actually a laser built inside of this controller. This is our five-way controller to intuitively navigate your music. And it has an onboard processor here that allows you to analyze your music as you're playing it and that's what actually controls the laser. I'm with Rao outside the View Dynamic Glass display. Rao, what is Dynamic Glass? Well, Dynamic Glass is an intelligent glass system that's able to electronically change the condition of the glass. Mm -hmm. So let me show you here a demo we have. Currently, the glass is in its clear state. As I push the button, the glass is able to change over a period of time from clear to a tinted state. If you think about a building, typically there are multiple sides to it where you have windows. For example, in this tower, we have three sides of the tower where there is sun exposure. Right now, the south side of the building is tinting, but as the sun traverses to the west side of the building, the south side of the building starts to clear and the west side of the building starts to tint. I'm standing here with Wagi Ishak, the head of our West Coast Technology Center. Wagi, why is the symposium important for Corning? We had the first day made of glass video in 2011 that created a lot of very good responses. So my goal was to have a forum where we can get the top thought leaders and decision makers in the high-tech industry together 
we can work to achieve the vision that's depicted in the first day of the glass future. From fashion-forward mirrors to glowing wearables, interactive touch displays, and dynamic windows, here at the Corning Symposium, we've experienced the most cutting-edge technologies shaping our world. Please join us next time for Inspired by Glass.